so very pleased to come to this wonderful point in a process that has been five years in the making, and that is bringing to Patterson something that had not been here for 12 years when we started this process. And now, 17 years after the last movie showed in the city, we are happy to rededicate a wonderful entertainment venue, a place for friends and family to gather, for culture, for simple entertainment, for laughter, and the new Fabian 8 Cinema. The old Fabian Theater. The old Fabian Theater, which stands just two blocks away from here, has its own future, its facade, I think, will remain. But the excitement, the animation that took place with people from Patterson, when they anticipated going to the theater, when they experienced being with each other, whether they were being scared, whether they were being made to laugh, or a tear was being brought to their eye, is part of a proud tradition and a proud tradition that's going to live on here in Center City, Patterson, not on one street, but on eight streets. This, I think, has been broadcast as being a ribbon-cutting ceremony. I apologize, there was a terrible error. This is the movie business. We don't cut ribbons. We cut film. You've heard of things that end up on the cutting room floor. We're going to do a little bit of that right now after a few words from our mayor, the Honorable Jose Joey Torres. Thank you, John. And let's give John a round of applause for his faith in Patterson, the owner of the Fabian Eight. Reverend Clergy, Congressman Pasquarell, Councilman Tavares, Councilman Rodriguez, Councilman Gow, our President of the Chamber, Jamie Dykes, Assemblywoman Nellie Poe, invited guests and Pattersonians. Good afternoon, everyone. I am pleased to join all of you here today for the grand opening of Patterson's Fabian 8. In 1925, the original Fabian Theater was opened by Jacob Fabian. The architectural design was by Fred Wisely, was beautiful with its 550 bowl, two ton chandelier, mural, tile floor, and much, much more. Unfortunately, with the challenging of times and the changing of times, the structure became dilapidated and the doors of the theater that had held so many wonderful memories had to be closed. But throughout the years, we have been striving to bring back this theater for it is a special part of rich history of Patterson. And for that, I want to thank and ask him to come up and join me is um, Nick from our Center City partner, Nick Tapasaris, and his wonderful wife, Stacy. please join us. I also see we've been arrived, uh, arrived at Council Messiah has joined us. Councilman, if you want to come and join us. So today, I'm so, so very pleased and happy to stand with you here with the reopening of one of Patterson's finest treasure, the Fabian Theater. This theater will now feature screening for eight movies. This provides a great opportunity to showcase the variety of movies offering something for everyone. And this is ideal for Patterson because of its diverse community. We are continuously on the move here in Patterson developing new structures and restoring our, our historical ones to its formal glory. But like our founding father, Alexander Hamilton, once wrote, real progress, real progress is the result of the talents, ideas, and energy of many people working together to a common goal. Please give these many individuals a round of applause for their contribution to this wonderful, wonderful development. So I thank each of you here today for coming, for it is through your support that we are able to be here today to make the vision of the Patterson's Fabian 8 a reality. This time I want to call upon um, Congressman Pascarell for a few remarks and following him, Jamie Dykes from the Chamber of Commerce for some also remarks. Congressman? Well, it's 
seems to be coming together, Joey. What the city has done, and the mayor and the council, to bring about a vigorous growth that we will see in fruition over the next several years. I want to salute Nick and Stacy for the faith that they have in we Pattersonians in a time when there is very little hope and faith around, they said we're going to do it in Patterson. Let's give them a great round of applause. Yeah. We're working on all levels here to make this city grow. Millions and millions of dollars have come from the recovery package, the stimulus package of February of last year into our city. We now have an historic park beyond the street, and that is the National Park Service is coming here. We have a national park. Patterson, it finally happened. And now this fall, we got to get our friends and neighbors, not only in Patterson, but from outside of Patterson to come here and look around. It's going to grow. New entities will be here every month. And this theater, which I just walked through, is the state of the art. I'm tired of going to the suburban movie theaters and sitting in junk. This theater is going to be clean. The owner, the developer, John Wright. I want you to come up here a second. This is what we're talking about, putting people, how many people are going to be put to work in this, in this uh, complex? 25 in the theater, and 35 when we get to the summer, and how many in the whole complex? 600. Yeah. So while all the parts must fit together, right, Bob Garachi? And all the great, well, let's give Bob Garachi a great round of applause for all the work he does at the CDC. All the parts have to fit together. Last week we brought four and a half billion dollars back to the community college to train 1,100, 1,200 people over the next two, three years in healthcare situations. That was from the stimulus package recovery. We've got to make it all happen and come together. We know that government can't do everything, but government has a responsibility when no, nothing else is working. We want these streets to hum again, Patterson. We want you to come down here to the movies here. Look at the top of the line movies. Nobody can say that this is, uh, you know, B movies. They're the top of the line. So I remember going to the Rialto Theater uh, up in, uh, down here in Patterson. Uh, we, ha we had uh, the Rivoli, we had the USA Theater, we had the Regent Theater where they used to give dishes away on Friday night. My mother used to drag me to the Regent Theater to get another dish. <laughs> the Plaza Theater, uh, you know, the theaters, and, and then of course the Fabian Theater where Lou Costello did his shtick and his new movies would open up. What? Oh, the Majestic. Oh, yes. Very good, very good. So think of all of those theaters, and then the suburban complexes came with 29,000 theaters in one building, you know? So I'm exaggerating a little bit. But anyway, we're here. We're going to bring our friends. And I want to give this from the Congress of the United States, uh, John, to the Fabian 8 Theater with the gold seal of the Congress on it. Congratulations to you. You've come to a great city. And after 17 years, we've got a theater again, and we got eight, eight movie theaters. God bless Madison. God bless.